Four out of every five tourists in sub-Saharan Africa visit to view wildlife. Tourism already drives 8.5% of Africa's GDP and provides 24 million jobs. Research has proven that approaches to increasing revenue in Africa's 8,400 protected areas and $48 billion from 69 million visits annually. Building a wildlife economy, developing nature-based tourism in protected areas have become key strategic investments as the number of tourists is set to double to 134 million by 2030. Ghana has 21 protected area network including seven national parks, six resource reserves, two wildlife sanctuaries, one strict nature reserve and five coastal wetlands. However, the country is yet to reap the potentials of protected areas. The investment is supposed to uh, you know, improve the local economy, create um, jobs and also to improve upon the infrastructure. Uh, the TCS Energy and Sino Hydro have come on board. Uh, they are interested in partnering uh, the Forestry Commission to develop the Dija National Park. The Dija National Park Development Project is to enhance revenue and job creation. We decided that it is better that we form a partnership between the two and it become like a joint ventureship between TCS USA, TCS Energy USA and Forestry Commission. The reason is that we want the commission to be self-sustained and to be able to have also income from what we are about to do. The aim is to create jobs and the aim is for us to develop our forestry. The Dija National Park created in 1900 in the Bono East region is the second largest national park and the oldest protected area in the country. The 3,743 square kilometer protected area was given national park status in 1971. The park is the only wildlife territory in Ghana to have Lake Volta at its borders with wildlife viewing, bedding, kayaking, hiking safaris, among other potentials. The partnership project is expected to create jobs while boosting the country's revenue sources.